Hey guys, welcome to We Are! Let's try this again. <laughs> hey guys, welcome to week 26 of the Confidence Revolution. Today we are celebrating a few things. Number one, 26 means we are halfway through, which is exciting. I finally figured out what 52 divided by two is, and we are here. Number two, today is my 33rd birthday. So 33 years ago, my mom did all the hard work. <laughs> my dad watched, I guess. I don't even think dads were allowed in um, hospital rooms back then. Isn't that so wild? So 33, I'm enjoying my birthday and we are also celebrating that I am pregnant. We are about three months pregnant and my body is pregnant and my mind is pregnant. I'm forgetting stuff. I cry all the time, I'm hungry all the time, mostly for cheese and pizza. No broccoli, mostly mostly bad things. So we're full on in the confidence revolution, full on in the pregnancy, and we are rolling. So here we go. I'm gonna take off my little uh, birthday hat. This is from my mom, which was so sweet, my mom and dad. Today I wanna talk to you about something that happened to me in New York City just a few days ago. I went on vacation with my husband and it was amazing. And we were there during Gay Pride and it was just amazing to see the city come alive with all sorts of love for love, you know? And I heard Glennon Doyle Melton say something the other day and she said, if you're not affirming love is love, you know, for anybody that's an outlier, if you're not affirming outliers, you are, your silence also says something. And I've never really come out and say like publicly or here love is love or anything like that. And although I believe it very much. And so I wanted to say here, love is love. And I believe love is love for everybody. And I believe everybody deserves what they want. We were there during Gay Pride Parade. It was amazing. It was super fun. After dinner, we were walking around Greenwich Village. We were on our way to a jazz club. And there was a church. Their doors were open, so we walked in. It was nine o'clock at night or 10 o'clock at night, something like that. And we walked in and there was a drag show in church. It was a Lutheran church, pews, altar, lit candles. The lights were dim in the church. And one by one, these, um, men that were dressed in drag got up in front of the altar and sang and performed to this whole church full of full of people it was a motley crew of people it was so beautiful it was just so beautiful and a few things were happening for me number one i was i grew up mexican catholic and i attend a baptist church now it's a black baptist church but it's extremely traditional and so to see that kind of um, showmanship, for lack of a better word, in church was already kind of jarring for me. What I realized was happening with each performer, I got a little bit more comfortable, but I realized in the moment, it wasn't that I didn't like it and it wasn't that I didn't approve or it wasn't that I wasn't even super enthusiastic about it. It was just that I had never experienced it before. And I think that a lot of times we get so ingrained in the way we do it, the way we think it should be done, or you know, maybe even more the former, the way just we do it day by day, that when we see something outside the box and outside our norm, we freak out. <laughs> And I think that it's really important in those moments to recognize why we're freaking out or why we are, why the puzzle pieces are not fitting. It's not because you don't like it, it's because you're unfamiliar. And so if there's something in your life that kind of gives you the heebie-jeebies or you're afraid of or you get uncomfortable around, realize it's probably not because you don't like it. Realize it's just lack of exposure and so I think that I think that the drag show was amazing and beautiful and, and in between performers the priests would get up and tell us we were all children of God and 
um, he would tell us that we are all part of the kingdom and that we're all loved. And it was just, it was an amazing experience and I cried a lot, of course. <laughs> um, it was definitely a one of a kind experience, but it absolutely made me go through the paces of my mind. So we're never going to be immune to that. We're never, you know, my heart is open and my mind is open, but just because I feel that way doesn't mean I actually experience life that way. So when those new experiences come along, don't be afraid, sit there, feel it, feel the discomfort. And then feel once you walk through the discomfort, eventually the comfort is around the corner. Okay, guys, I will talk to you soon. Have a glass of champagne for me, and I will see you next week.